Getting the Hylian Shield in Tears of the Kingdom isn't too difficult, but it is dangerous. It's located deep within the heart of Hyrule Castle, and if you played Breath of the Wild, it's actually located in the same spot as a shrine was, near the shortcut that leads you into one of the main halls, and just like in Breath of the Wild, Hyrule Castle is filled to the brim with dangerously strong enemies and environmental hazards. But again, just like Breath of the Wild, if you use all of your available tools to your advantage, you should be able to get in, get the Hylian Shield, and get out without too much trouble. Before we get into that though, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button. I plan on making videos like this to answer all of your Tears of the Kingdom questions, so if that's something you're interested in, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Thanks! So first things first, I'd highly recommend having at least 7 to 8 bomb flowers and at least 2 wheels of stamina before attempting this. It is possible to do it with less stamina, that's not a hard requirement, it'll probably just take you longer and you'll have to come up with a different route. However, if you watch this video, you'll know exactly where to go, so I'm sure you'll be able to find your own way there. The location we're aiming for is the docks on the backside of Hyrule Castle. Now what I like to do is take the Lookout Skyview Tower and glide north right over Hyrule Castle and land as close to the docks as possible. If you're like me and couldn't quite make it all the way to the back, you can land up top for a moment to refill your stamina. Just try and land somewhere away from the enemies or puddles of gloom. You want to be safe while you're doing this. But if you do land on the upper portions of the castle, you can just regain your stamina and then glide straight down into the docks. Be wary though, because as soon as you take your first few steps into the docks, a Gloom Master will pop up and start attacking you. This is where your bomb arrows are important. Six of these bad boys right in the center of that Gloom Master should take it out quickly and easily enough. That's not really where it ends though. After you defeat the Gloom Master, Phantom Ganon appears, and you'll have to fight him for the right to get the Hylian Shield. Phantom Ganon isn't too hard, just use your shield to block his attacks, try to parry as best as you can, and then attack when you have an opening. If you hit him, the gloom puddle underneath his feet will shrink, so you may want to use a long range weapon like a spear to ensure you don't take unnecessary gloom damage. After you've defeated Phantom Ganon, the only thing left for you to do is walk up the stairs to where the giant torch is, light that sucker up, and a chest is going to appear right behind you. That's basically it! The chest contains the Hylian shield, and you can grab it and go. Probably don't want to stick around here for too long if you aren't prepared. Of course, you'll still need to get the Master Sword and the Champion's Leather to complete the look, so if you'd like to know how to get those, here are two videos on screen now. Once again though guys, my name is Matt, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.